Kim Howard is the regional director of the Southwest Indiana Small Business Development Center, and she is here to in our chamber chat segment. There's so many things going on. The chamber has a lot of things happening, and today I'm here really to talk about two things, Angie. One is the legislative agenda, and people may be familiar with this really nice piece that the chamber puts out every year that highlights those um, legislative priorities that members have identified for us and that survey will be going out soon so you want to check if you're a chamber member make sure that you watch that and and then you have the opportunity to have some input into the legislative agenda and you'll see one of these for 2020 coming so it's out. a survey it's a now, survey will, 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 will you release the results or will that just be chamber info no we do re release the results in fact we have several publications like i said this one is a really nice publication it reminds people of what the top public po priority policies are. I don't know if you can see this, but we choose five, and sometimes they're in alignment with state and federal um, issues as well. So that will be coming out. Plus, we have our annual meeting and dinner coming up September the 25th. Always a great event. Um, most people don't realize, but it's really an annual meeting is a time for really the changing of the guard, changing of board members. But in addition to that, it's so many more things. We have networking opportunities. There are upwards of 700 people that attend this every year. Um, and we have a keynote speaker, Bill Stone. Now tell me about Bill Stone. I really didn't know much about him. Well, most people think of him because of the Stone Family um, Center for Life right. Sciences. Um, so they know him as a philanthropist, but he is really an incredible entrepreneur. So in 1986, with $20,000, he started SSNC in Hartford, Connecticut. I think out of his garage. I'm not sure if that's those are the best the stories. Story, right? those, in my dorm room, story. I came up with something. Yet. Yeah, it's a great story. And so he'll be talking about that. Um, he'll be talking about the taking the company. Um, public and then back to private again. He, I mean, they weathered some really tough times. They have over 22,000 employees worldwide and upwards of 200 here. But one of the neatest things about um, what SSNC has done for our community locally is that it's really engaged um, millennials, it's engaged graduates from USI, UE. They want to stay here. They want to be in Evansville. And it's, you know, to be a part of SSNC is, is tremendous. Well, so. it's so important to us. And I think, you know, we've talked about this in the past, but all that talent drain that's happened in the past, we want to make sure that we stem that tide and, and keep our people, our creators, our makers, our innovators right here. It, yes, yeah. And, and they have those kinds of opportunities. And he has presented those here. And he's really given back to his community. He's also um, uh, had a um, donation to St. Vincent's. There is a particular park there for sensory deprived yes. children. Yes. Um, Beautiful. And I know that he was involved in a donation at Memorial, his, his high school, where he was, I think, the captain of the football team. So, you know, those are really interesting stories to hear and I think help people to feel a pride in their community. But the chamber brings all that together in one meeting and I know. In fact, I stopped and talked with Tina Fuhrer before I left the office, and she said, still looking for sponsors. I want to thank ABC WEHT. Did I get that right? You did right. You got that right. Uh, for being a gold sponsor, along with several other sponsors. But there are still opportunities for sponsorships, and I think we're going to bring the... Uh, the page up on our website. So they can just go to the website if they want to be a sponsor? Okay. Correct, and they can contact Tina directly. It's Tina Fuhrer. Um, you can go on the website or you can call the chamber, 812-425-8147. And all of this information will be, uh, this this piece will be played again on tristatehomepage.com and the information to uh, become a sponsor will be there as well. Thank you, Kim. Great. Always Thanks for having me, Andy. Always a pleasure. When we come back, what's going on at the Wrights Home? Matt Rao is here to tell us.